Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We are making a building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are doing an updated video for Map Builder, okay? This website right here that you see is the new website for Map Builder's download, okay? This is created by Omega. Um, uh, the creator of the original creator of map builder this is their new website this is where we are going to be downloading our map builder from from this point forward until any further notices all right so this link will be down in the description when you get down to this page what you want to do is select the map builder download button right here or you can select map builder right here so let's go ahead and select map builder right here and then this will lead you to the download page for map builder you're going to have two versions the free one and then you got the patrons um, edition right here in order to download the patrons edition you will have to join omega's patreon all right so for today's tutorial purposes we will be installing the free version of discovery which is map builder okay so go ahead and select this green button right here when you select that button, you are going to be sent down to this page. It's going to have a video also explaining how to install Map Builder as well as having the text documented down here. All right. So what you want to do is come up here and you want to select Discovery. Then once you select Discovery, you will have the option to download uh, two versions for single player, which is the OIV download. And then you have the manual download. Then you also have the 5M version which is under the server okay uh, we are only installing the single player today but we will be installing both versions for single player the OIV download and the manual download so go ahead and select the button to download both of these once you have these downloaded right here I want you to press the back arrow and it'll bring you back here to where we are originally and we are going to select the removal tool as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and select the removal tool. All right. Now, um, it's very important for you to read this as well. I'm not going to read it right now in front of you, but read the warning. Okay, read the warning. All right. Then down here, we are going to have two versions. Um, well, not exactly two versions, but there will be two options. First option is going to be a removal tool. The second one is going to be a disable tool. The removal tool will remove all and any of Map Builder's content in your game files. The disable tool will only disable Map Builder um, in your game files, pretty much. It'll, it'll still be there, but it'll just be disabled. Yeah, um, if you wanted to use Map Builder again, whether using any one of these, you will still have to install the latest version of Map Builder. So let's just go ahead and install or download the removal tool. So go ahead and select download for removal tool. And we will only be using this one today. We are not going to be using the disable tool, just the removal tool. So once you have your removal tool downloaded and you have your discovery for map builder downloaded with the single um, player OIV package and the manual, uh, uh, the manual install, it's going to look like this on my left hand side I have the three versions well I have two versions of uh, the single player which is the manual then I have the OIV package and then we have the removal tool okay so I will be explaining how to install all of these on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and it's ready to go now as of requirements the only thing that we are going to need is open 4 I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install that if you don't have it already so make sure you have your open 4 installed okay now let's go ahead and start to install the manual version first by going into our mods folder in our GTA 5 directory if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods all in low caps like I have here after you've done that, come to your update folder and then copy the entire update folder. Go back into your mods folder that you created and paste that update folder right here inside your mods folder. Open up your update folder after that, and then open up X64, then open up DLC packs. Now, if this is your first time copying your update to your mods folder, you're going to have a whole lot of DLC packs in here. Go ahead and erase all of those DLC packs because those are duplicates. Once you have done that, let's go over to our duplicates, go into our map builder manual download folder. Now we are in the manual install folder right here. Okay. This is the map builder discovery manual install folder. 
So open that up. Inside here, we are going to have two DLC packets and two text documents. We are going to highlight both of these uh, DLC packets, which is custom maps and MB discovery. Drag and drop both over here to the DLC packs. All right, great. After that has been dragged and dropped, we are also going to need um, a map, map editor or menu. Those links will still be down in the description as well. Everything that you will need required in order to install map builder will still be linked down in the description, okay? So let's go to our scripts folder in our GTA 5 directory. I am going to be doing this with my object list from map builder. You can also do this with your prop list from menu. I will show you how to install that as well. So let's go into our scripts folder inside of our uh, GTA 5 directory. Now, if you have map builder installed, you want to go inside your object list. Okay. All right. So when you open up your um, object list, what you want to do is go ahead and set the cursor at the top inside of that uh, text document and press enter three times. Okay. Then you want to move the cursor back up here at the top. All right. So this is our object list from our map builder. Now we want to take this add objects text document and open it. That's inside of our map builder discovery manual install folder. Open that one up and we are going to have to add all of these objects in this uh, text document to this text document. So what we want to do is select in anywhere inside here, then press control A that's going to highlight everything. Press control C that's going to copy everything inside that text document. Come back over here to the object list, place the cursor at the top of those three spaces that we made and then we're going to control V to paste that whole list inside of this list. Okay. And the reason why I said to make those three spaces is that when you want to uninstall manually, then you can just go inside your object list in your scripts folder and just highlight this whole list and delete that. Okay. That's for uninstalling. Okay. It'll be easy to find this list once you have this little space right here. So after you have added all these objects, to so your object list, let's go ahead and select save and then we can exit out of here and exit out of here. Now, if you wanted to use your menu instead of map editor, then you want to go inside your menu stuff folder and you want to locate your prop list right here. You want to open up your prop list and you want to do the same thing that we did with uh, map editor. Now, you don't have to do this for both. It's only one or the other. You do it for menu or map editor. Okay. So now that I have showed you how to um, install the, the object list inside of menu or map editor, let's go ahead and open up our open four because we need to add both of these DLC packs to our DLC list.xml. So let's open up open four. As you can see, I have it open up right here on my right hand side. Make sure that your edit mode is turned on. Let's go ahead and navigate to our DLC list.xml by going into the update column on the side, select update.rpf. It's going to be a red banner that pops up. It's going to say copy the mods folder. Go ahead and copy the mods folder. After that's been copied the mods folder, uh, select common then select data and scroll down. You want to select DLC list.xml. What we're going to do is right click with that, select edit. This uh, open for text editor will pop up. And what we want to do is add both of these lines down to the bottom. All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy this last line I have right here. And I'm just going to make two more lines. So I have two, I have uh, three of the same line down here. Okay. What I'm going to do is just copy the names of our DLC packs up here. Copy that and just place it right over the name right here. Like so. All right. Go to that. Copy, paste over. Boom. All right. So once you have those two, um, two names added to your DLC packs in your DLC list.xml. Once you have these two lines added right here, we can go ahead and select save. Once that is done, select file, close all our archives. Now the manual install is done. Okay. The manual install is pretty quick and uh, easy and simple. Now let's go back to our downloads where we had our manual and our easy install. Now, if you wanted to use the automatic install, which is uh, the pretty easy one, what you want to do is just select it, which is going to be the MB discovery 1.05 at the time I'm making this video. 
you want to select it, drag and drop it here to your open form. If you're using the OIV package, if you're doing um, the manual, it's, it's either or, okay? Either you're going to install it manually or install it automatically, all right? You don't need to install both of them. So if you're installing the automatic, which is the OIV version, go ahead and open, um, click install and then click mods folder and then you want to select install confirm installation for those that are using the package installer instead of installing it manually all right now let's say if you wanted to remove it okay let me go ahead and show you that it still is in my mods folder before we attempt to remove it and also i wanted to add you will need a a game config uh, there's a lot of people that are complaining about map builder uh, nowadays is starting to crash your games um, map builder has a lot of props and you're going to need to install a game config from this day forward in order to really have a stable map builder you know working in your game files so that link will also be in the description you will definitely need a game config now as you can see we still have our two new DLC maps in our DLC packs okay now what we want to do is uh, bring back open four. Now see like if you wanted to uninstall your map builder, what you want to do is select the removal tool right here. Let's go ahead and drag, drop that right here. Now I'm going to show you um, the quick way by using their OIV package removal tool. And then I will show you a manual way. So while we have this open, it's going to open up a package installer uh, window, select install, then select mods folder. All right, so the removal tool doesn't work. Um, I didn't find this to remove any of Matt Builder's content. Okay, so we're going to go ahead with the manual uninstall. Okay, so let me show you how to uninstall Matt Builder manually without affecting your game files. What you want to do is first go into your DLC packs and your mods folder. You want to locate custom maps and you want to locate MB discovery folder. Okay, what you want to do with those two is delete okay delete those two folders boom all right once those two folders are deleted you want to navigate to either menu or map editor you want to go to those um, object lists or prop lists it depends on whichever one that you had used like i told you earlier you have an option to either install your object list in menu or map editor so i chose map editor i'm going into my scripts folder I'm going into my object list right now and then i am going to delete all these new objects that came with map builder and i'm going to scroll down until i find that little space that we had made which is right here now i can go ahead and take the cursor all the way up and remove everything above that space to make sure that i get just those new object list out and not my old ones all right so now i took those list out of my object list i can go ahead and save it now now we have one thing to do, one last thing to do, and that's to remove those two lines from our DLC list.xml. Let's go into our mods folder, update, update.rpf, common data in DLC list.xml, right click, select edit, scroll all the way down, and delete these two lines right here custom maps and MP discovery. Just gonna go ahead and boop, delete that, select save, all good to go. All right, so now we have successfully deleted all of Map Builder's content from our game files. All right, so I would suggest um, uninstalling um, Map Builder manually, just like I showed you, instead of using this removal tool. Um, I don't know if you know it's going to work in the future, but uninstalling it manually will always work for you. So I suggest to do that. Uninstall it manually. All right. So now I have showed you how to install Map Builder manually and how to install it automatically and how to uninstall them both. Okay. So um, you definitely want a game config. I can't stress that enough. That will fix all of your game crashes on startup or while you play. The link is down in the description. It will lead you to a video showing you how to install a game config. And it will be the latest updated video for that as well. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, minimize these windows right here. There's no need to run the game because Map Builder adds props for those that would like to either um, enjoy houses 
and maps that other people have made or if you like to create your own okay so we're going to end the tutorial right here but if this helps y'all out to uh, better understand on how to install the new version of map builder or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share that video with your friends that are in a modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics i'm out of here till next time i ain't scared of you motherfuckers